Hey y'all, uh, this is West Virginia History with Mrs. V and today we're going to talk about the greatest road trip that I love to take at least once a year and that is along US Route 60 Midland Trail from Gully Bridge all the way over to Heiko and Anstead. Um, so this makes a great day trip trip, it makes a great weekend trip but before this was US Route 60 and it was paved, it was mud. And before it was mud, it was a trail. And it originally started as the Buffalo Trail because this is the path that the buffalo herds that once roamed over West Virginia um, used to go over the mountains and through the New River Gorge. It'll then become the James and Canal River Turnpike. And it's going to be a path again through the mountains. And then eventually in the 1920s, it is going to be paved and is going to become U.S. Route 60. Um, I jokingly also call it the Tudor's Trail because if you like Tudor's Biscuit World, there's like one in every little town um, along Midland Trail. So if you need breakfast, there's a Tudor on Tudor's on your trip, whether that be at Gully Bridge or wherever. Um, Anstead has one too. Uh, so the Tudor's Trail or, <laughs> you know, uh, actually Midland Trail. Um, this, like I said, is a great day trip because it takes you into the New River Gorge National Park. Um, but even before you get to the New River Gorge um, National Park, um, you're going to go through Hawks Nest State Park, which was built in the 1930s. And you can see Lover's Leap, you can go to the hotel, you can take the tram. I mean, there's just so much history and so much amazing scenery to see. I mean, there's not much more iconic views of West Virginia than that view of Lover's Leap there at Hawks Nest. And then, you know, Babscock State Park, if there's like one photograph of West Virginia that people have seen, it's that grist mill at Babcock there on Glade Springs. It is beautiful and it's, you know, it pops up in my Google Photos thing all the time because it is what people know about West Virginia. I love this part of West Virginia. This is a perfect road trip. It's a perfect day trip. It's a perfect weekend trip. And so Sam's going to tell you more about why this place rocks. And one of the place, reasons this place really rocks is two words, mystery hole. And if you don't know what the mystery hole is, that's the whole point. And if you spend $8, you can find out what the mystery hole is too. So stay tuned and learn more about Medlin Trail. Hello, my name is Sam Varney, and this is part two of my West Virginia road trip planning. And for this, this is the Route 60 road trip, starting off with Heiko, West Virginia. Home of the Gully River and the New River Gorge Bridge, Heiko is located at the junction of U.S. Routes 19 and 60, which are northeast of Fayetteville. Known for its amazing natural surroundings and outdoor recreational activities. If you're looking to be one with nature, a trip to Heiko is just for you. Here's some things that I have found that you can do in Heiko. The first thing is the bridge day. Every third Saturday in October, people from across West Virginia come to the New River Gorge Bridge to either spectate or participate in the bridge jumping. The New River Gorge is always very populated at this time of day. It is a very popular place to spend time outside. The second thing I've picked is Ace Adventure Resort. Ace Adventures where families and kids can bond and spend a great time through its whitewater rafting. Ace holds zipline tours with views of the gorge and includes outdoor adventures along with cabin rentals and camping. Ace Adventure is a great place to have tons of fun. And the next place I have picked is Anstead, West Virginia. Anstead offers beautiful natural scenery and outdoor activities like hiking and fishing. The New River Gorge offers breathtaking views and Hawks Nest is one of the most popular places to explore with stunning views of the gorge. It offers breathtaking views. If you're going on Route 60, Anstead is a place to go. And the first place I've picked is Hawks Nest. Hawks Nest offers amazing overlooks and views of nature with tons of hiking and outdoor activities such as jet boat rides, hiking trails, and fishing. Hawks Nest offers enough to keep a tourist occupied for ho however long they plan to stay. And the thing, most popular thing to catch in Hawks Nest, if you want to fish, is muskie. The next place I've picked is Cathedral Falls. Some 
call it the most scenic waterfall in the state. Cathedral Falls is, was voted best West Virginia waterfall for a reason. The 60 foot waterfall is located right off Route 60 in Gully Bridge, a place where you can picnic and soak up the sun all day. The next place I have picked is Glen Ferris. Glen Ferris is home of two breathtaking waterfalls that will make a tourist jaw drop. You can visit the Canal Falls, which is also a great place to fish. This place attracts tourists who love nature. And the most popular fish to catch in the Canal Falls is also musky. The next place I have picked was Summersville State Park. A very popular place to camp, which includes recreational activities such as rock climbing, hiking, and biking trails. You can swim in the lake or go out on a boat. A great place to hang out with friends and family and bond. And if you are hungry, I have found some places in the Route 60 Road Trip where you can eat at. The first place I have picked is the Cathedral Cafe. With a cathedral type look, stained glass windows are one of the most unique cafes. The tables are hand painted. Tourists say that the cafe has the best spinach dip and the staff is very friendly. The second place I've picked is the Hawk's Nest Lodge, which is in Anstead, West Virginia. Tourists say there is an amazing view of the river right when you walk in. Staff is very friendly. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The French onion soup is one of the most popular items on the menu, along with the trout dinner, which tourists say is very good. <clears throat> they are open from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Pies and Pints, Fayetteville, West Virginia, is the last thing I've picked for places to eat at while on the Route 60 road trip. Known for its amazing pizza, Pies and Pints is an amazing place for pizza lovers to eat at. They have great service and a friendly staff. Pies and Pints is a great place to eat at if you love pizza. And if you're looking for places to stay while on the Route 60 road trip, I have provided some places to stay. The first one being the Country Road Cabins in Heiko, West Virginia. If you're looking for a nice country getaway for the weekend, the Country Road Cabins is a great place to stay at. They have cabins, yurts, tree houses, which all include a kitchen TV, a big deck, which has a hot tub, and a gas grill. Enjoy the recreational things as whitewater rafting on the Gully and New Rivers. The last place I've picked to stay at is the Hemlock Haven Luxury Cabins, which is also located in Heiko, West Virginia. Hemlock Haven is a big luxury cabin which has hot tubs and a fireplace. They are pet friendly and they have full kitchens. You can do outdoor activities with its 26 acres of land per cabin. Thanks y'all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to West Virginia History with Mrs. B on both Facebook and YouTube.